Lord, renew our spirits and cleanse our hearts. Renew our minds and transform our lives. Renew our cities and rebuild our ruins. Renew our world. In your name we pray. When we pray, God listens. Do you believe that? It might feel like praying for the climate is too big a task, that climate change is too big a problem for God to handle, or for us. But in Matthew chapter 17, verse 20, we are encouraged that if we have faith as small as a mustard seed, then we can tell mountains to move. The world is rapidly warming due to increasing carbon emissions from human activities. As global temperatures rise, droughts, floods, fires and storms are becoming more frequent and more extreme. The rains that millions of people rely on for their farms become less reliable. Climate change affects us all, but it's been hitting people living in poverty first and hardest. This is an issue of justice. The poorest 3.5 billion people are responsible for just 10% of emissions, and yet they already face the most devastating impacts of the climate crisis. We can't afford to be passive. We must pray. We must act. It's part of our discipleship as we follow Jesus. Will you pray with us and deepen your discipleship? May God bless you with discomfort at easy answers, half-truths and superficial relationships so that you may live deep within your heart. May God bless you with anger at injustice, oppression and exploitation of people so that you may work for justice, freedom and peace. May God bless you with tears to shed for those who suffer pain, rejection, hunger and war, so that you may reach out your hand to comfort them and to turn their pain into joy. And may God bless you with enough foolishness to believe that you can make a difference in the world so that you can do what others claim cannot be done to bring justice and kindness to all our children and the poor. Amen.